Hey everyone, thank you for ending your week with me. I appreciate it and I am so glad that you've come back because today I want to share with you my latest Alta and TJ Maxx haul. So uh, a couple weeks ago I went with a couple friends for our last girls Bible study night, kind of our fun outing, and we went to Chick-fil-A and Alta and TJ Maxx, and I was pumped because I have not been to TJ Maxx or Alta in a very long time. So our first stop was Alta, and I couldn't vlog. Um, I called and asked if I could get permission, and no one ever called me back, so I didn't do it. But I do have a picture, which I'll insert now, which this is just me and my two girlfriends who I had a great evening with, and we shopped and shopped and looked at makeup and tested makeup and swatched makeup and picked up makeup and put makeup back down and it was just a really good time. So at Ulta I only purchased one thing and it was this, um, the Glow Kit and it has the Becca First Light Priming Filter, the Julep Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rose Hip Seed Face Oil, the Laura Geller New York Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops in Gilded Honey. The Lorac Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer in Dusk. The NARS Blush in Orgasm. And the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And these are all the travel or mini sizes. So, when you purchase this, also you actually got um, $5 off one of the regular size items in this and I actually purchased the NARS Orgasm. So when you got this you actually got a coupon for five dollars off any full size item featured in this box and I went ahead and actually purchased the NARS Orgasm blush. I understand what all the hype was now but I really want to try the e.l.f. blush in Something pink it starts with a T that's supposed to be a dupe, and it's only $3, so next time I get my hands on that, we'll be doing a dupe or nope, <laughs> so we'll try that out. But I actually have um, the Julep uh, Boost Your Radiance Oil in my cabinet for my nighttime routine, or um, I'm sorry, it's with my stuff, and I use it for my daytime routine, and I actually put two drops in with my Eucerin uh, sunscreen daily facial lotion, and I really like it. I like how it feels. I like how it looks. Um, I have, of course, tested the NARS blush. Um, I've tested the Becca primer. I really like it. I've tried the All Nighter setting spray. I'm a mom of two, so it's not like I'm really out all night, but I mean, I use usually the Wet n Wild natural photo focus and I, I feel like it does just as good. Um, I haven't got to try these two out but I'm hoping to try those in an upcoming video and actually the Laura Geller Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops is a full size product so that's kind of nice. So that was my Ulta purchase and then we scurried over to TJ Maxx because it was getting pretty late and at TJ Maxx I picked up two of these Catherine Malandrino Professional Stippling Brushes. I just thought that they looked really nice, so I picked up two of them in two different, uh, what do you call that, kind of finishes, because I've been using this one for my blush. And I really like it. I think it does a good job. The only problem is because it's so large, like that mini NARS blush, I kind of have to pinch it and stick it in there. But most of my, like, regular size blushes, like this, just for instance, this butter blush, I really don't have a problem. It seems to fit in the pan size pretty well. But, like, anything mini or travel size, it's kind of hard. Um to use but I really like that and like I said I got two they're super soft I kind of wish they were a little bit more densely packed but also I kind of like that they're not I know I, I contradict myself a little bit but I like it for blush because I just start in the back and then kind of stipple it down and I think it does a really good job so I got two of those and then so I keep putting my bag down and then I forget where I put my bag and then I picked up this, um, I've already had it out once, but I want to keep the box. 
It's from The Crim Shop. It's a plushy headband, super soft headband to use during a skincare routine or when applying makeup. And this was the box it came in. And this was only $4.99. And it looks like this. And they had different styles and different um, patterns. But I just really like this kind of soft purple. I know it's, it's hard to see. I'm sitting in front of natural light in my window. But uh, it's just this really would you call that just it's like a not a violet it's just a really pretty light lavender color with a bow and I like that you can kind of readjust the bow and I like to use this when I get out of the shower I'll push all my hair back and do my nighttime routine so I really enjoy that and I forgot to mention these brushes were only $3.99 each so like I said that's why I picked up two and then I also purchased this Polished Beauty Supply Eyelash Curler, and it was $3.99, and I picked that up because the one I have right now, I got in Ipsy Bag a long time ago. Uh, this is not it. This is my old one, actually. That is from Revlon that I have had since high school in 2006, and I still have it, and I think time to kiss the old girl goodbye here but for some reason I just can't part with her so we'll put her back up right now. But I got this one because I needed a new one and it was super cute. It's got like that teal on the handle and that's my favorite color. So I picked that up and then um, when I came home from Ulta I went online during the 21 days of beauty and that is when I got the NARS blush in the regular. Um, the other one I had intended to use for bronzer, but then I, like I said, I ordered again on Ulta when I got home. And I purchased, um, not this, I purchased the um, Kiss of Death. From the Wet n Wild, the Rebel Rose Collection, because I'm not a super fan, a super fan of vampy lips, but my hubby likes them on me. So if we ever get a date night, I figure I'll rock that, and he'll he'll, he'll like. It. Um, so I got that, and then I got the satin. It's not here, but it's the one. Um, Send nudes. I got that as well because they were buy one get one 50% off. Okay, also from my online Ulta purchase, I got from Essence their bronzer blush. Bronzer brush that came in this package and it looks like this. And I love it. Like I said, I bought the other stippling brush intended for bronzer, but then I seen this and I thought I want to give it a try. And if you can see, it's like, what you call that tapered, I guess. And I love it, which I have been using it solely so far with the luminous matte bronzer from Essence. And so I don't know if it's the bronzer or the brush, but I am plan on using this brush the next time with a different bronzer. It'll either be the Maybelline City Bronzer or my Physicians Formula um, Bronzer in Light and see if I get the same effect because I will put it on with this side and then I'll flip it on this clean side and I'll like blend it and I feel like it looks so good. But like I said, I've only used it with this one so far so I want to try it with my other bronzers and see how that turns out. So, I am as fair as fair gets, and I wanted to purchase this highlighter, and it was on sale for $14.50, and I honestly, when I went in Ulta with my girlfriends, I was looking for one of the Makeup Revolution ones, well, it was $14 to $15 for a four pan, and the four shade was so dark, I knew I could never use it, and then I was going to get one from e.l.f., and it was $14 to $15 for a four pan, and so, when I seen this, I thought I have to get this. It is the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio, and it has three shades in it. It comes with Space Baby, Glazed Donut, and Glow Gold. So quickly, let's swatch these. So this is Space Baby, 
and it has I'm, I'm gonna double swatch this to hopefully make it really show up on camera it has a purple yeah it's not showing very well it has a purple reflect like when it swatches in the light it almost turns bluish purple and I was really intimidated by that, to be honest. I was like, when am I ever going to wear that? But then I got some Wet n' Wild stuff that you'll see because my video coming up on a Friday will be a full face of Wet n' Wild. Uh, the eyeshadows, purples. And then I thought this would be the highlighter to go with it, the Space Baby. And then Glazed Donut, which is straight up my alley, is like a rose gold... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that to like a champagne -y color. Let's see. Sorry, I have a bruise. I had to get blood work done the other day. It's a very champagne color. <sighs> like perfection. That is so just me and a highlighter. Just call me glazed donut. And then lastly was glow goals. And this is very golden and it's probably too dark for my skin tone but I don't even care. And so here, here's that one. Like, yeah, that's, it's way too dark. And I still don't care. Like I always could use that for an eyeshadow. But what I'm thinking is with the stippling brush specifically for this one, um, because it's so diffused that, well, that might be too big. I'll take a small stippling brush that I have down in here somewhere and maybe really diffuse that. Or like I said, use it as an eyeshadow, but I Love it. And I love it so much that I actually display it on my desk because I love it. Yeah, it has like the crowning jewel place of honor on my desk right now. And that is it. That is my Ulta in the store, TJ Maxx Ulta Online haul. I hope you enjoyed. And again, thank you for ending your week with me. And I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.